Hello. So I'm going to do another romantic comedy track today for the production music album, um, same album as I did a piece a couple of days ago. All I've got at the moment is the smallest little bit. As I was cycling along a couple of days ago, this melody came into my head. So I pulled on the brakes, grabbed out the phone, recorded myself singing ding 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 That's all I've got at the moment. Um, we'll just take it as we go, and I'm sure it will unfold in front of us. So I've um, got the first section, the section A, with that melody um, down in a first pass. It's not perfect yet, but it will do. Romantic comedy music is often very sparse and minimalistic, especially when it first comes in. So what I've done is that with that melody, which is quite busy, ding, 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 is I've separated it out, putting different instruments on different elements, and dropped some of the notes so to open it up, to make it more sparse. This, I'll just play it. So sparse. And then we come in with the main thing, the vibes, have the melody, and if you can hear faintly, I don't know if you can hear, but there's a clarinet going. Now with that, those two rolls are going to be swapped. Clarinet's taking it, and the vibes are taking that roll. And what I'm going to do with the percussion is I'm going to accentuate that ten ten ten. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to accentuate that percussion element, or that, that rhythmic element, with some percussion. But, I'm going to move on to section B now, because that's enough time on section A for now. I just really want to get some broad strokes down of the different melodies of the different sections. So I've got the B section underway. Um, what I've done for that is kept the kind of dun 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 dun, that kind of rhythm, but instead of going um, dun 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 going, it's now going dun 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 going up and put it in different chords. It's a um, very simple modification of the original melody and in terms of instrumentation so that it's quite a repetitive melody so we've got some the bass notes as they come as they go they move up from F to A to G to B so it gives a sense of movement even though the melody is relatively repetitive and simple to hear. So it goes like something like this. So this is the end of the A section, into the B. Moving up. And some light percussion. Same thing, but busier. Light bongos. And then it goes back to A. Easy peasy. Now heading toward the, the latter half of the, the piece, I'm going back to section A, but I wanted it to be much bigger. So after a brief transitional period between B and A, um, the, tr the vibes and clarinet are doing exactly the same thing that they were before and the pizzicato are doing all the same thing. So most of it's the same, but on top of that we're just adding some more layers, that's all. So the main things are in the lower register, some horns, some trombone, French horn, and trumpet. Well, trumpet isn't hardly the low register, but they're very, doing very simple bam, 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 following the chords. And then on top of that, the violins are doing a fast um, thing which sounds like this. That repeats with block and spiel coming in. Or put a bit more percussion in there to make it even bigger. 
denser, more lively. And then we'll go to the B section. The B section, just to finish it off with an ending. So, almost finished. So, um, the fleshed out the B section, added some more violins, um, added a couple of other instruments, and we've got the ending, so it goes, uses the, the A melody, dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun, and then just dun-dun-dun to end nice and big. So the whole thing from the beginning goes nice sparse. Giving the melody, splitting it up with different instruments as you go along, and then the melody and the vibes. And I like the pizzicato, the offbeat pizzicato, and the violin and viola. All the cello is just on the beat. Melody goes to the clarinet. Viola doing that rhythm. Stuff it. I said I was gonna put some more percussion there, but I haven't yet. Maybe I anyway, B section. Which is like the, the reverse of the A section instead of going dun 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 dun, it goes up and the the converging of the bass notes going up, a repetition, but a few more instruments, like the bassoon, bom, 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 just to give it um, a bit of thickness, a bit more weight. Now there's a little bridge section going back to A. Which is like the original A, and then nice and big A. out in your little uh, microphone on my camera here. And then clock and spiel just to um, really accentuate the melody. Don't know if you leave it here on the microphone. B section, which is like the first B section, but but has some violins and viola going deep do 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 deep and bigger now so violin and viola still going deep deep do deep do deep do deep do deep do deep do deep and now the ending which is the A theme 